to the channel. We are doing, what are we doing? DoorDash, earn by time. I've already done my first one. I dropped it off just now. I'm gonna show you what it is and then I wanna show you some uh, POV of like driving from their house. All right, we got our next one, and we're out of the zone, which is crazy. 10 miles. What's that say? Three items? This one's taking me back to Marietta, which is in Ohio. Well, I was gonna do that order, but as you guys saw, it was slammed in there. They told me it was gonna be 20 minutes before that order was ready. It was three bit, like three meals, three breakfast meals, like three sandwich meals. They are so slammed. All right, we got our next one. We were sitting here in McDonald's parking lot. I sent a message to that customer just stating like, hey, they told me it's gonna be 20 to 30 minutes. I'm having to unassign your order, I'm sorry, but somebody else will get your order. I, I just wanted to let you know what's wrong and why there's a wait etc if your order keeps getting kicked around that's why i mean they were busy i mean the whole lobby's just full of standing people i've probably never seen a mcdonald's that busy but we got this ihop we're gonna head over there it's right down the road uh we're still in marietta ohio so we'll see how long it keeps me in marietta but i'm gonna put that order right here or try to you know i'm still working and learning all my edits and stuff so see if i can maybe fit it in this hole or maybe just put it on the screen or something we'll figure it out I'll see you at IHOP. I know I keep showing like rolling footage of like the road and the sky and stuff like that, but it is so beautiful out today. I just wish you could see what I see. So I'm just trying to show you that. place is pretty busy too looks like it's going to be like this all day long it's so nice out everybody's just trying to enjoy the nice weather well they just gave me a stack it's panera it says it's on the route so we'll see and we'll walk in here to ipod well that place was busy as well but we locked out we got it so we're gonna throw it here in the hot bag and head down the street to panera i'll see you there Going back to that McDonald's order, I am curious. How many of you would have kept that, being that I'm on earn, I'm at earn by time? 20 to 30 minute wait. So I'm getting paid the tip. Plus, let's just say the full amount for the earn by time, which is 11.25 in my area. I don't know, like it was just so busy. When I get in big areas like that, where it's like everybody's on top of you, I don't know, I just get anxiety, and, you know, claustrophobia kicks in, it's just, it's just bad news. But I am curious, just in the comments below, would you have like stood and waited for that order? Or would you have done the same thing and unassigned it? That McDonald's is still backed up.
Bob Evans is slammed. But weird enough, this Panera is dead. I mean dead. This is also a new Panera. So like it's just been put in with like the last four to six months. The last time I was here, I had to unassign it because it was a long wait and they were just really slow. Like I said, it's still new. So let's see if it's ready. It's honored by time. So it seems like a lot of those orders have been ready when I walk in, except for that McDonald's. Hello. Not that. All right, we got both orders in the bag. My shoes match my DoorDash stuff. Now this is interesting. It's got me delivering to the Panera customer before the IHOP customer. Hmm. And I can't see who's more than the other and who's closer. So, or I can see who's closer. So I'm just gonna adjust that and see who's here closer and who's farther. That's why. It's one mile away. Now this Panera was ordered on the Panera app. Um, so with that being said, some of the instructions sometimes aren't very good because it's coming third party. Um, so yeah, but luckily in this one it says hand a customer and it says where I'm going, I'm going to her work. So I will see you at the drop off for Panera. Hi. This is confusing. Oh, <laughs> uh, I have a DoorDash drop off for Angela. Okay. So that last one ended up being thirteen forty four for six miles. First person was a uh, base pay of 4.44 with a $3 tip. And then the other one was the add-on for Panera. So they were $2 with a $4 tip. So that was a pretty good one. And then uh, we just got this uh, Taco Bell. Like I said, somewhere over in here, maybe on the screen, I don't know. Um, yeah, it looks like it was, let me bring it back up here. okay so here we go again these all these orders that i've been getting so far like the last few have all came from the merchant they haven't came from doordash so it's been third party so i'm heading to taco bell but so far we've done what a tim hortons and then we did we had the mcdonald's we had donna sign it but then we did the ihop and then we just did the Panera. So we've had four, done three, and we just got our fourth one uh, for Taco Bell. And that's not factored in yet, but with the three orders we've done so far since nine, a little after nine o'clock, it's 1030, we're at 1980. So a little bit under our goal, but we're getting close. So well, let's head to Taco Bell. So we got the Taco Bell and two drinks secure. That's a lot of items, so I'm curious to see what happens here. Does Taco Bell take tips? Because it's from the merchant. Let's see. This is a hand to customer, so we'll confirm it right before we walk in, all that fun stuff, so we'll see. We had a nice little storm here. We stay busy. We're gonna go to about 1.30, 2 o'clock today. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so I will see you at the drop off here for the Taco Bizzle. All right, you know we're gonna talk about it. So, did the customer tip and Taco Bell took it, okay? 
or did the customer use the Taco Bell app and there is no tip option or is the customer just a miserable human being who don't tip? I have no idea, but judging by the way I looked at it, all the food they ordered, the way they kind of acted and stuff, I'm gonna say they're just miserable and they don't tip. That order was sitting there for a while. Because there's no tip. Um, also, the order would have been 250. They might have raised it up a little bit, but I made three dollars and what fifty some cents, three dollars and some, because I'm ordering by time, and it was relatively close. So yeah, it is what it is. We're at a 23.55, and we started about 9:10 this morning or so. Uh, it's 10:47, so I'll see you at the next one. Got our next one, it's Panera Bread. Uh, we're uh, back to the same Panera we were just at a little bit ago. So, we're, like I said, we're standing there. Yet. Uh, I was on my way back to the highway and I was gonna try and head back towards my area where I stay out and whatever, but nope, they want me to stay in Marietta. Marietta's nice, I used to live here. It's a really nice area. As you can see in a lot of the rolling shots you've seen, it's, it's a really nice like community area. Foods in the bag. Bruh. Wait. I'll just wait. Hello. Hi. How are Thank you? you. All right, so that ended up being 10.15 or 7.4 miles. The base pay was 3.65, the tip was 6.50. They had workers, like, it was like an Asian woman doing their flower bed. I, I pull up and I'm like, hey, you know, is this such and such address? And she says, yes. I said, did you guys have DoorDash? Oh, I don't know. I'm, I just work here. What the hell is going on? I don't know. Whatever. It's a nice house, though. Big house, you know, whatever. So, anyways, on to the next one. We're going to go ahead and confirm this one. Hit got it. And let's see here. We'll just do that right now. Right now, we're at 3370 of the day. Well, we rang all the orders out of Marietta that we could. So, we're going to go ahead and head back to uh, Vienna. We're driving back to West Virginia. Let's go ahead and look at the ratings and see what's changed. Uh, yesterday we were at a 70% when we started, or 69 or something like that. So after taking the few orders yesterday before we finally said screw it and stop because we lost our shift, um, I ended up getting another shift yesterday, like right before like the dinner rush. It was like three o'clock or something like that. Uh, I did get it done. Uh, did a couple orders. They were a bunch of no tip orders, whatever. There's a couple shorts about them. I don't mean anything ill and harmed or ill harmed or whatever. You know, it's it's all in fun. Um, if it was that big of a deal, I just wouldn't take the order. So, anyways, let's check out the ratings. So I'm gonna put the ratings up right here. And as you can see, I am at a 76% acceptance rate. 4.90 customer rating. I actually have two one stars. They, I know for a fact, they were two people that did not tip. Well, we got our next order. It's Dunkin' Donuts. I think it was like five miles or six miles, something like that. Uh, 
I'll put it right here. So I will see you at Duncan. Mountain. All right, we delivered to her the other day, so it's clear over in Ohio, the other side of Ohio. So we're here at Duncan now. We're gonna go ahead and pick this up and uh, head back to that customer. I'm gonna say she left me like a positive review, like five stars or whatever, which is why I'm getting it again, like her orders again. Um, from what I've gathered and what I've seen on other videos and stuff, is DoorDash tries to pair you up with people that you've had positive you know feedback with so yeah so anyways we're gonna get this uh Duncan and head to Heather's yes I have a DoorDash uh for Heather all right so we got it there's one coffee and then I got it in the Walmart bag um, it looks like the order's been sitting there, and what sucks is they didn't have it closed up, it was like open, and this Duncan lately has been kind of dropping the ball, um, they haven't been putting stickers on bags, like they'll just hand it to you, like it's not closed. Me as a driver, I want everything sealed, so there's never any issues, so I asked for some stickers, I closed it myself, whatever. Um, also, I don't know if anybody else does this. But do you guys put the stickers on the on the uh, drinks uh, over the hole where the straw goes in? I do it for spill reasons, but I also do it for customer concerns so they know that their stuff hasn't been messed with. I don't know. Just me as if I was ordering DoorDash, I would want it to feel as comfortable as possible. You know what I mean? But we're going to head over to Belpre and uh, it says 5.3 miles and I'll see you at the drop off. Okay, so she was outside waiting on me. But that ended up being 871. So it was over a dollar a mile. So that worked out. It's a four dollar tip, 471 base pay. It was a good order. Alright, so let's head back to West Virginia. We are sitting at 4231. Uh, and we're three hours in. Alright, we got our next order. Taco Bell. Uh, I think I said what? 8.2 miles. We just passed the Taco Bell, so um, we're just going around the corner here and pulling back into Taco Bell. I've been to this customer before. Um, they own a grooming company. Uh, it's a little bit out. It's out of the zone. So uh, we're going to head over here to Taco Bell. We're going to get this order. And uh, it's a quesarito, a Diet Pepsi, and three Dorito Locos tacos. So the tip for this customer they usually tip pretty good so I'll see at the pickup for Taco Bell is that all of it yeah. okay thank you so much all right we're going eight miles it says 10 minutes, so that's not too bad. It's uh, pretty much a straight stretch through here. Um, so I'll see you at the drop off and we'll see what the total ends up being. What I tell you, know your market, know your customers. You make all the money in the world. That was insane. She tipped 950. What her tip was, covered the mileage completely. Now, if she wouldn't have tipped, or she would have tipped kind of a lower number, it may not have been worth it. The base pay helped. So now we're at 5561. We started at nine o'clock, like I said, a little after nine. Well, let's go ahead and check our ratings here. 
see where we're at after all the stuff we've done. All right, so looks like we're at still at 4.90 customer rating. Uh, our acceptance rate is now 77%. Completion rate 95, on time for early 93, 1590 is our total amount of delivery. Now, being I'm on earn by time, I'm still in a diamond zone. about another hour and a half left we'll go ahead and finish off this shift we just got back to our zone to our area and uh see if we get an order just as i said that i got this taco bell for 4.5 miles it's actually taking me back to the taco bell that i was just at um yeah so i'll see you at taco bell made it to this far in the video go ahead and check out my recent short that i just put out uh it's a day in the life of your doordash driver um yeah i can't really put any of it in there because it's got music and stuff so uh, i don't need copyright uh claimed so. <laughs> All right, 758, 5.7 miles, 408 base pay, 350 tip. Now we're out of our zone again, but we're gonna head back and uh, try and get another order. We are at 6319 and it's 1255. We just got a Chick-fil-A. Pulling in here now. Let's go ahead and find a parking spot. All right, I'm not sure what happened, but uh, yeah, it like paused me again. So it did the crap it was doing yesterday. And I'm already at Chick-fil-A, so it kicked that order off me. But anyways, it gave me another Chick-fil-A while I was here, like, par par like parking or whatever. So we're going to go in here at Chick-fil-A and grab... I can't make this shit up. It ended my dash. It did it again. I was just gonna walk in Chick-fil-A. And watch, you can't hit switch to earn. Well, it was busy in my area, so since it kicked me off and thinks I was declining too many orders, whatever, now it's got me back on earn per order. So we'll finish out the shift. And yeah, so 2.3 miles, $7. We're here. It's actually the same one that I just had that they kicked off me whatever it actually made my ar go up another percent and i think i'm in yeah i'm at 78 now so it just looks like i canceled them so whatever we're back on it it's seven dollars i'll see you inside Chick-fil-A is freaking banging. This place is busy as hell. All right, we got the Chick-fil-A in the bag. Boop, boop, boop. And we are going to head to, well, it's close, I think. 2.3 miles for seven bucks. See you at the drop-off. Another hidden tip there, seven dollars I showed. All right, just as I got back in the car, I got another one. Now, normally I wouldn't take this because I know it's a no tip, but we're gonna take it. And I just got a notification that the person that I dropped this Chick Fil A off to, they added five more dollars onto. Order. Thank you. Have a good one. He came out and got his food. So he tipped me. Order was two fifty. For nine fifty.
for two chicken sandwich meals. That's awesome, man. Shout out to that customer, dude. We've had some good customers today. But now we got this KFC. Like I said, I know it's a no tip, but it could be a cash tip. I'm giving everybody the benefit of the doubt because everybody says that all people do cash tips. It's unlikely, but that's why we're going to take these orders. Plus, we're trying to get our acceptance rate up as high as possible because I'm trying to get in the LOP. And I have to hit top dash next month. Is anybody else's KFC like this wide open? I think there used to be a bar here or something for like salads. Dude, we put it in the hot bag. <sighs> Even clowns get hot bags. I'm kidding, she's probably not a clown. She just don't like the tip. Maybe it's a cash tip, like I said. We'll see. But we both know what's really gonna happen. But we'll keep it optimistic. See you the drop off. Hope everybody's having a great Saturday. For the most part, it's been nice down here. Um, how's it been in your area? Has it been nice? Comment down below. Tell me how your day's been with uh, the nice weather and spring finally here. Also, big shout out to my subs. I'm over 50 subs now, which is crazy because I never expected anybody to want to listen to me ramble, rant, and talk about dumb shit all the time. But for you guys, I appreciate it. And we're only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I see the drop off. All right. Problem number one with this whole thing. This is a pretty nice area. And yes, I get it. It's two things of mashed potatoes. But regardless, if you can't leave your house as nice as it is out and go get it yourself, but yet have me drive clear all the way over here, over here to your house, and you can't even throw me a buck, I'm about to find out. There you go. Have a good one. Just as we expected, no tip. Tried to tell you. But it's all good, because we got another one. Old Knuckle Sandwich Company, Ghost Kitchen. 650 for 1.8 miles, we'll take that all day, thank you. A shout out to Renee. I appreciate your no tip. But hey, hope the mashed potatoes are good. We're out here just doing the service of the people. I've done my good deeds for the day. I'm the Knuckle Sandwich! These guys here at Knuckle Sandwich are the homies. They, uh, they actually was called DiCarlo's Original Pizza for like 1945. But recently, they've changed names. Like their board don't have anything on it anymore. But yeah, they had it ready. I mean, this place is usually pretty good. Um, I won't go too much into it because I have a soft spot in my heart for Wally's Pizza in Cambridge, Ohio, New Concord. Um, they have the square pizza with cold cheese on top, all that stuff. And this place kind of like copies them, so whatever. But as far as orders for DoorDash and stuff, they've been pretty good. Got it in the hot bag. Let's go. Whoa, there's a chicken. Oh my god, there's a bunch of them. That's awesome. Ah, nice little hidden tip. Thank you, Cassandra. And I like your chickens. So right now we're at $15 since we started this new shift. Uh, which puts my total at $78.19. Actually, correction, I was wrong. I actually had some hidden tips. Um, so my total after the five hour shift ended up being 8569 and divided by five is 1714 an hour. All right, so here you're gonna see we're at 6319. We had 1320, 1015, 871, 636, 758, six dollars, 375, and 744. And then for the second shift, we had 2250, three dollars, 750, and 12 dollars. 
which then brings us to our total of 85.69 for the day. Now, do I feel like that was a good number to end on? Absolutely not. I like to hit at least $100 a day. Now, I'm also usually multi-apping, but today we just did DoorDash and Earn by Time. Until we had the issue with the app again. But, it is what it is. Um, you can't really complain too much. I mean, I still use the app and stuff like that. I still make money. So, it is what it is. It's going to have its bugs. It's going to have its issues. Now, our hourly rate, like I said earlier, was seventeen fourteen an hour. But I was also a lot busier today. Um, I didn't really have any downtime. So that was also definitely a, a positive note. So yeah, that's going to wrap this up. Uh, like I said before, and I always say, like every other YouTuber says, like, subscribe, comment. Um, yeah, thanks to all the people that subscribed so far. Um, I don't think we've been a month in and we're already over 50 subs. So that's pretty cool. And I know my content's slowly starting to get better. Considering what it was when I first started, it was pretty terrible. And I get it. It was also very cringy. But that's the point with YouTube. You grow as you go. So once again, thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.